Hey there, this is Jexy with the Systems Alliance, and in this video, I'm going to let you know why I'm going with AMC Stubbs A-List over Cinemia. And here's a hint, it's because of Cinemia's fees. So my last video was regarding how to avoid Cinemia's convenience fee. And the way around it was by using Facebook as an intermediary and they would cover that convenience fee with Cinemia when booking movies. Well, it turns out that Facebook will no longer be covering that convenience fee by the end of the year. Now, of course, Facebook could choose to continue it, but as of right now, there's no plans to continue it past the end of 2018. What that means is that depending on your Cinemia plan, depending on the movie that you're going to see, it'll be usually $1.50 for the online booking fee, AKA your convenience fee, choosing your seats, all of that, that you will then have to pay when booking with your Cinemia app. But that's not all because Cinemia just also introduced a $1.80 fee per ticket. So in other words, their unlimited plan, which I covered in a previous video, just like MoviePass's old plan, it was basically one movie a day, so no one can even see really more than that, 30 movies a month, rounded. But instead of movie passes $10, which obviously wasn't profitable and ran them into the ground, Cinemia was charging 30. And so that seems pretty reasonable still. I mean, AMC's plan is $20 a month. Now, of course, you get IMAX 3D, any showing you want, whereas Cinemia's plan is only 2D movies. So they were pretty comparable. Cinemia also has their $10 a month, three movies a month plan. Same as what MoviePass has now, except with Cinemia, you can go to more theaters than you can with MoviePass and MoviePass limits the movies that you can see, whereas Cinemia doesn't. So overall, Cinemia definitely seemed like they were picking up where MoviePass left off, except only profitable. And AMC is obviously a really good alternative too. The Cinemark Movie Club doesn't quite have the same rewards that the others do, doesn't quite have the same amount of savings for a hardcore movie lover. And the Alamo Season Pass is still in beta testing. Sounds great, but once again, still in beta testing. And neither of those theater chains reaches as many theaters as Cinemia does, or has as many chains as AMC does, which is the nation's largest. Now, Cinemia, $30. 30 movies a month seems pretty good. But a commenter in my last video, Luigi, pointed out something really interesting and as a fellow movie lover, he wanted everyone to be informed of this as well. Because of the $1.80 processing fee, separate from the convenience fee that they now have, you'd be paying an additional $54 a month if you were to go see a movie every day. So the plan costs 30, the processing fee costs $54, and if you put it into 2019 where Facebook stops covering the $1.50 fee, that's an additional $45. So what you have is a plan that's $30 a month, but to use it to its fullest extent, which is one movie a day, you'd be paying an additional $99 a month. So basically $130 is what it's really gonna cost you in order to use this Cinemia Pass. Off the top of my head, the only thing I could think of that might be equivalent to doing something like that is to buy a really, really old, expensive car, get a really good deal on it, and then it's constantly in the shop, repairs, new tires, new electronics, new parts, everything, and it ends up costing costing you three times as much as the actual car did. That's basically what it's like to have Cinemia's ultimate plan going into 2019. Not to mention that, it's still $20 initiation fee, assuming you don't sign up for the full year all at once. So if you're going month to month, it's still an additional $20 on top of that. So all of a sudden you're at $150. And if you wanna use your pass right away, it's an additional $10 that you have to pay as a smaller activation fee. So if you wait 14 days or two weeks, you don't have to pay the fee. Just like if you pay the full year, you don't have to pay the fee. But if you wanna go month to month, it's an additional 20 and it's an additional 10 if you wanna use it right away. So totally you're at $160 for what should be a $30 a month plan. Now, granted that's the first month. You only pay that $20 for the initiation fee once and you only pay that $10 fee for the activation once, but still that's many, many times more than the $30 
$20 a month that they're advertising to you. Now, obviously at this point, $20 a month for three movies a week with AMC seems a lot better. I mean, for myself personally, I'm the kind of guy who's going to go out and see those big blockbusters. I want to see them in IMAX and I want to see them opening weekend and I might want to see them multiple times. So the AMC Movie Pass really fits my taste because three movies a week, I could see the same movie over and over and over in that same week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and in IMAX all three of those times. With Cinemia, I'm limited to 2D, but with all the fees, it becomes much more expensive if I'm using it a lot. Now, that kind of makes sense. They don't want you to use a lot because if you use a lot, they're not making money. They're making money on the people who are not using it a lot. So Cinemia's basic plan of $10 a month for three movies a month in 2D, that still works out for most people. But just knowing they're already adding a $1.80 fee on top of that, and the $1.50 fee that you can waive via Facebook is going away come next year, it makes you wonder what other fees are they going to tack onto you. MoviePass already broke their contract with the consumer. You know, I signed up for 12 months. That was what I signed up for. I'm sure there was some fine print in there that allowed them to change that. Regardless of that, I still had signed up for 12 months at $10 a month for unlimited movies. And that just didn't last. It didn't last the full 12. They didn't make it. And I understand it. They had to change their plan so they wouldn't go out of business. But that still doesn't quite seem like the honest thing to do with your consumer to change the plan. And Cinemia is following right in their footsteps. And as Luigi pointed out, there's no way around that $1.80 processing fee. So you have to pay it if you want to use their app. There's no way around it like there is with the whole Facebook thing with the convenience fee. He likened it to them holding you hostage and then you having to pay a ransom to be set free. He mentioned that Cinemia is trying to claim that that fee is the credit card company and Cinemia doesn't cover those fees. But as he pointed out, in California and in many other states, merchants are not allowed to pass that cost, those credit card fees, assuming that that's what it even is, which I doubt it, but they're not able to pass those fees onto the consumers. It's against the law. So Cinemia is going to run into trouble if they continue down that path. And because they just started doing this, they haven't gotten into trouble before because they didn't do it before. So it's interesting to see where this goes. But due to all of this, this is why I'm picking AMC over Cinemia. For the same reason I left MoviePass, I just couldn't trust MoviePass anymore. What really killed it was the limiting the amount of movies you could see. That's what really killed it for me. But just knowing that you had them, they promised one thing, they backed away from it. If you're never sure what the company is going to do, you can't really use their service. And I'm feeling that way about Cinemia now. So let me know what your thoughts are on Cinemia's fees and whether or not this has any effect on you switching to AMC or Cinemark, maybe trying out Alamo if you can get in on the beta, or maybe going back to MoviePass. Maybe you trust MoviePass more than Cinemia, or at least you figure, well, at least I know MoviePass doesn't have a ton of extra fees. Cinemia may be more financially viable than MoviePass, especially now that MoviePass has to stand on their own since Helios and Matheson separated the two companies and now each have their own stock. But with Cinemia introducing all these fees, it just doesn't seem worth it anymore to me. Let me know your thoughts on this. Comment in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you later.